You want to know why charities haven't changed the world? We hypnotize people in consumption. And we don't let the nonprofit sector indoctrinate people in compassion. We have to go beg for every dollar we get. We're trying to address income inequality, climate change, feeding the world, the horrors of war, racism, sexual violence, poverty. We need to come up with solutions that we can't yet imagine. What is a world that works for everyone? What does that world look like? There's this huge distrust with charities. We're still, in fact, businesses. You still have the same operating costs. Staff, lights, phone bills, office rent. We have two rule books, one for the nonprofit sector and one for the rest of the economic world. The motive to make money is a powerful galvanizer of capital. We're competing with Apple, McDonald's, Coca-Cola for the same customers. We're building this magical thing that creates community and transforms lives, and it gets destroyed. Breaking news tonight. Yet another charity well. under fire. Questionable spending practices. Where's the money going? The work we're doing to help people has been so mischaracterized that somebody actually was going to come find me and shoot me. There's something in your brain that can snap, and it did. When people tell me you just can't change the way people think about charity, I think, oh yeah. You know, we have changed the way people think about seatbelts and about smoking and about women having the right to vote and civil rights. Things can change. The nonprofit sector is the place where you can experiment and do creative things. And that means investing boldly, investing in the people. We want us to be a social enterprise empire. I want to grow as big as it takes to solve these problems. The next time you're looking at a charity, don't ask about the rate of their overhead. Ask about the scale of their dreams. The most incredible things are possible.